Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. A little Serie A team of the season, Air Divisi team of the season, and Ch CSL, Chinese League team of the season, market talk video today because there's a lot of stuff that happened today on FIFA Ultimate Team that I want to talk with you guys about today on Tuesday as we head out of Monday, which Monday, again, I've been talking about this the past few weeks. Monday is a massive day in foot. We get upgrade packs, we get the secondary leagues released, and today we got not one, but two secondary leagues released. So we got an objective and an SBC. And I just want to cover this really quick from Monday, what we got. This Elkison SBC, 83 rated with a team of the season card for a 90 rated Chinese league striker. Uh, four star, four star, not even that bad stats. But this is basically EA handing out SBC fodder to everybody in FIFA because a lot of people are probably just going to go and do this SBC because you could honestly do a set of 10 upgrade packs that we got today as well, the Serie A upgrades and the 80 pluses, and you could probably, you know, craft this SBC. So that's a very cheap SBC, and now everybody has a TOTS card in their club. Like EA, definitely plan this out because think about it. And this is something we also need to kind of ponder and talk about today. Wednesday, we should be getting guaranteed SBCs, right? Guaranteed TOTS SBCs from... Uh, the Air Divisi from the Chinese League and from the Serie A. If we drop all three of those on one day, that's three tots that you're going to need to turn into those squads, right? EA knew that, and ahead of time, what they're doing with this Elkison card is probably preparing everybody for that because they know a lot of people are going to do this just because it's cheap. They'll send them to the club, which will make high rated fodder uh, rise probably less because you already have a tots card, 90 rated if they make all the squads. You know, for the Serie A squad, probably being 86 rated, you only need maybe some 84s and 85s to complete the rest of that SBC, which is what we've been seeing in the past few weeks anyway. But again, I think this is that's that kind of method of thinking, I think, is proved here with this SBC. It's good value regardless, though. I mean, if you use this guy in game, he's probably decent to use. Four star, four star, and, and decent stats um, anyways. But we also got the upgrade pack today, and that's the biggest part about Monday. And that actually caused some movements on the market today. I want to show you. What came out with these upgrade packs, which are decently good, by the way. You see the TOTS counter is up to 60. Um, I did pack six team of the season tonight on stream with the best one being the Mad Lad Dybala. We packed 94 Dybala today. Uh, I dropped about, I'm going to say, 500k-ish on the packs tonight. And we did get Dybala, so it was worth it. Uh, and we're going to be doing more throughout the rest of this week. But from what I'm seeing, the 80 plus the 80 plus upgrade and the Serie A upgrades are both pretty good value because I'm seeing a lot of the double upgrade packs are just really good. And then this 80 plus, people are getting Promeses, people are getting the Serie A TOTS cards, three TOTS cards, like three squads you can get from the 80 plus because it's not just Serie A players. So that was a W from that SBC that came out today. And then the objective I want to cover... Um, was Lissandro Martinez. Uh, not a bad card. I mean, you do squad battles for almost all these except for some rivals, but this is a guy that kind of gives you a link between your Promes and maybe your Tagliafico, depending on what formation you run. And it looks like a pretty solid card. Um, but speaking of Promes and Tagliafico, I want to look at the TOTS squads that came out today as well, because they EA went all out with some of the juices on some of these cards from the secondary leagues. Dumfries was extinct earlier today. He's now back on the market at 115. That's a really good looking right back card um, with interesting links and just a sick card. Ziyech is nasty. Five star skills, only a three star weak foot, but that's a dope card. And then this is the guy that everybody wants to know about. Everybody wants to play with. He was extinct earlier today. I think it was like 580 or something. He was extinct. They upped his price range to uh, 900 and now he's back down to 640. Nine. So he's been dropping ever since that price range got updated. Does he go back up after in the morning? Uh, I don't really know if he does because a lot of times when a player is extinct, if there's a lot of hype for that card, which there is here, uh, they can rebound into the morning after that night where their price range gets updated. I just don't know how much hype there is here with this card, to be honest with you, at this price range. Uh, but this is a sick card. Five-star skills, four-star weak foot. He's going to be absolutely incredible in game. And he's got the hype, right? And he's linkable with Netherland links um, with the, the Dutch links. So that's a card a lot of people are going to try to pack and try to get this week. That is a W. Van de Beek looks good. Tagliafico is cracked as well. Some of these other cards in here don't look that bad. And then we go to the CSL. 
EA went all out with this one too. Oscar, uh, uh, Renato Augusto, um, you know, with an absolutely juicy, juicy team of the season card. Alex Teixeira and Jonathan look sick as well. And a Hulk Tots card. Like EA juiced these secondary league Tots. This week is probably in a hole. Definitely, not probably, it is absolutely the best league or the best set of secondary Tots that we have had yet. And look at all the Brazilian links in this squad a lot of the brazilian cards are going to be good looks this week um for maybe some thursday flips as people will get some of these cards in reds think about gold three this week man like gold three and silver one where you're not guaranteed the Serie A players you could get somebody like paulinho hulk and Teixeira, and even from gold two some of these cards are a lot better than some of the not so good uh shite cards i guess you could say in the Serie A, like if you get a Cherby, a choice between Quadrado, a Cherby, Pellegrini, and let's say they drop like Hulk in your player pick, right? You might go with Hulk from like Gold 2 even. If you have guaranteed Serie A players, there are some CSL and Eredivisie players that will top those, which is kind of a change from the past weeks like last week. Tellez might be one of the only ones that you would have taken over a, a Bundesliga card, maybe. Maybe there's a couple others, but seriously, they went all out with Chinese League and Eredivisie, and that's such a dub in my opinion but the biggest thing i want to talk about today is these cards because these syria tots dropped a decent amount from sunday into saturday right so we are looking at the daily graph this taylor hernandez card was 400k on the weekend down to 368 on sunday and today he dropped even more because check this out sunday during squad by rewards he had a low he's like 350 360 right hit a low of 344 kind of bounced back up. He was chilling around 360 to 370 for most of the day. What happened today was uh, a lot of people saw the upgrade packs and they just kind of started to sell stuff off. This card isn't the best example. He's just kind of dropping right now for no reason. I picked one up on a snipe at 313. Um, but the best example of this today is a guy like Manolis, right? Like what is making this card drop? I think it's purely the upgrade packs that were open today. People wanted to go do the upgrade packs because they realized it's a double 81 plus and that's a pretty good pack. Manolas was 200K this morning, content drops and he's dropping all afternoon, now down in the 170s. If you saw a drop like that today on a card, Quadrado was 160 earlier today. Immobile was just 215, now he's 230. These cards bounce around a lot because they're pretty rare. Luis Alberto was 355, 360. Dybala is under 800. Gomez is under, nine, or under 900, both for Dybala and Gomez. Uh, Milinkovic Savage was 279, 280 at one point. We are getting to a point where if you want to buy any of these cards for your team or as an investment for later on this week, I know this league isn't the most hyped, but we're getting to that time period that if you want to make a buy, we're getting close to that time period where it could be time to buy you know i'm kind of curious with this luis alberto card people are saying he's really good in game he's a very rare card here's an undercut at 360 um if i see like 350 or even below for this if you see anything that comes out today on tuesday in foot that would make these cards drop another five to ten percent that is your time to buy honestly because uh, these cards are just getting very low Everybody's focused on upgrade packs for Monday. Now today on Tuesday, they're going to start thinking about investing, buying as rewards is two days away. And the guaranteed SBC would be tomorrow and Wednesday. Start to think about looking. If you want to invest in these cards, try to flip some of them. This is maybe going to be your time to buy as we would buy before the guaranteed SBC on Wednesday and then sell afterwards as people go buy the cards that they didn't end up packing. If I had to pick any cards out of the TOTS Serie A, that I'm most interested in as a possible buy and then uh, flip after the guaranteed, I would say Quadrado, Luis Alberto, Smalling, Manolas, Teo Hernandez, Milinkovic Savage, and maybe Insigne would be the ones that I'd be the most interested in, um, especially this Quadrado card, man, because if you are linking any of these cards together, you really need this right back link with the Calcio A links. Maybe you've got a Dybala at center mid, while you're running, uh, even if you have like a Smalling and a Monolos, I mean, this is like the best right back in the Serie A, and I don't think he's going to get packed that much from the guaranteed SBC, at least not much or not enough that his price would go down or stay the same. I do think he would go up because the right backs usually do rise a decent amount just because they're huge for links on the outsides in squads. So I'm kind of a fan of this one. Again, Luis Alberto, 
um, the, the meta ones, right? The ones that are interesting, the ones that people have been trying. And you can figure out which ones are meta by looking at how many games played they have, right? Quadrado, 4,000 games played as of right now. Manolis, 3,800. Smalling, 3,100. Teo Hernandez, 3,700. Um, who else do I want to look at here? Let me take a peek at who else is pretty hyped. Let's look at Milinkovic Savage. How many games he got? 3,300. So out of the ones we've all just looked at, Quadrado has the most games, right? 4,100. Is that the most out of everybody? Luis Alberto, 36. Papu Gomez. Now the high rated cards, 5,000 games. Wow. Yes, he's got the hype. It's harder for these high rated cards to have more games played, but they do. Interesting. It's higher. It's harder for these guys to have more games played because they're more rare on the market. And the way that this stat is, is taken is based on how many cards are off the market are on the market. Cause it, um, Flipin reads the market and looks at the cards and then, um, basically pulls out all the number of games that are played based on the cards that are listed up on the market. That's how they grab those statistics. And, um, when there's less cards up for those higher tier meta cards, obviously, um, there's going to be less games played. So that's just something to think about. But that's a way that you can kind of tell hype and you can measure hype based on what cards uh, are out and which ones people are using in FIFA. The next thing I want to talk about is out of packs, right? My favorite Dutch right back, uh, Hadabur. Hatabur is uh, down today as well because people basically, what I also saw today was people sold their investments to go out and open these packs. This guy was at 140K flat with a shadow. He's at 143 right there. So some of these cards that were investments actually dropped down today as people sold them to go up and open packs. I saw Headliner 9 Golan drop today. So basically just check around the market. If you wanted to invest in some of the Serie A stuff and it went up and you're like, man, I missed the buy time, there might be another potential time to enter uh, if you're still seeing some prices that are low after people... Uh, did some upgrade packs and they had to sell some cards in order to go do that because I did see that happen today uh, Douglas Costa was like 350 360,000 coins almost And I'm pretty sure I saw him back in the 340s and even 330s today a little bit as well So some of the Serie A cards that you think might rise this week Tonali was another one I looked at Where is Tonali? I think Tonali was getting close to, to like 415k again. Where is he at? Pretty sure this guy was like, yeah, he's back up again, man. So Tonali was like 450, 460, I think. Now he's back down to 430. So um, some of the cars did get panic sold. If you're looking at out-of-pack Serie A's, which I'm not really going to touch this week, I think what I'm going to do is, since a lot of that stuff is getting over-invested, um, I think I'm going to be messing around with the actual team of the season cards, try to make a couple buys before the guaranteed SBC comes out uh, on Wednesday. And then possibly flip those Wednesday night into Thursday before rewards after the SBC when people buy back these cards because they didn't pack them and they wanted them. And then I'll also do Thursday flipping kind of related around maybe some of these TOTS cards and icons because I think icons are going to be really great Thursday flips this week um, and in the next few weeks as well. As more and more TOTS cards come out and people have to try to link them together, it's going to be hard to link them together without using some of those guys like icons. Uh, in this game, I want to look at some of the other investments a lot of you guys have made. Uh, Golden Bappe, you know, this has been a very popular one as well. How much is he at right now? I don't think this would rise super duper fast. Whoa, this actually dropped today as well. Golden Bappe, 204 at the moment. So this is back down to what it was, and a lot of people have bought up this card. Okay, that was an undercut, 207, right? But still, in under 210,000 coins, I still think this is a decent buy out of packs for two weeks. A lot of hype upcoming for this Neymar and the Mbappe, um, but a lot of people aren't investing in it. So that scares me a little bit, I'll be honest. Uh, Neymar actually is still up a little bit. He's up, up almost 10K actually, 316. So he was in the 300 flat range Sunday night, and he's still, he's actually up 10K while uh, Mbappe is about the same price still. So if you're looking to buy any of these out of packs golds, I think I like Neymar better than Mbappe just because he's already risen a little bit already. And he's definitely more rare than Mbappe is on the market. And if you're going to buy one or two of the TOTS cards, I don't know, man. I feel like there's just more hype for Mbappe than, than Neymar, just a little bit. So maybe you, if you still want to grab one of these out of packs, try to get Neymar under 310 if you can on PlayStation. Uh, and then on Xbox, I think he's like 260 maybe or something like that. 
let me check really fast because I know you X, you Xbox dudes need to have a buy price as well, right? This is why if EA just made the market all one together, you know, I could just say, hey, go buy this card at this price and it would be the same for everybody else, right? Uh, wow, I was wrong. Two, try to get like the 215 range for Neymar if you can. Wow, he's already up a little bit on Xbox. 215, under 220 maybe for Neymar. That card could very easily be 250 in the next couple weeks with being out of packs for two weeks in a row with ultimate team this season as well and that's something again that we're going to have to start covering soon on the channel what cards are going to get in is there going to be panic selling are there going to be saved up packs all sorts of stuff as cristiano ronaldo continues to drop 6.5 million coins uh he was actually under 6.5 a little bit earlier today in the 6.4 so that's interesting but the man bun is falling on the market the other big story of the day concerning the upgrade packs league on rares this was crazy today man this just goes to show again that a lot of these cards are getting over invested in right this is darun right now uh 1.6k league on rares today excuse me Serie A rares because they're those are the ones that are needed right now Serie A rares what happened with those today i want to talk about this these cards were like 1.7 1.8k almost 2k i think before the sbc came out today when the sbc dropped since it only requires nine rare golds this means there is slightly less demand so people don't need as many serias instead of 11 they only need nine and this tot set Serie A is just kind of it, it's all right right you know it's not the most hype set of cards not the most hype league that's why you saw these absolutely drop today supposedly i was not on the market for this supposedly some of the rares went from 1.7 1.8k down to 1.3k upon the sbc release and now they've risen back up to like 1.7, 1.8K for most of them. I did a lot of my buying today at 1.6 when I was opening up these packs and stuff, um, which is which is awesome uh, that these are so cheap, which I think is also maybe driving some people to go do more SBCs and more upgrade packs because these cards are pretty cheap. Look at all these 1.7 Jordan Lukaku's right now listed up on the market. Uh, a lot of people thought these were going to rise to 2K, which it's did not happen because of the amount of people that overinvested and the fact that they only required nine rare golds from the Syria in those packs. Now this this is begging the question from other people, is this going to happen next week with League Un? To be honest, I think and I hope that EA does this for League Un next week. League Un rares are right now around like the 1.3 to 1.5 range for most cards, so they're still inflated. Um, if you're going to do packs for League Un, Think of it this way. If you're buying rare golds to do packs and they only require maybe six, seven, eight, or nine rare golds from League Un next week for upgrade packs, that's huge because that means for you, you can do more packs because you can only need you only need to put six of your unassigned rares into that SBC. You can go buy six other rares that are cheaper on the market and get more packs during the first few days of the week to try to pack Neymar and Bappe and Ben Yedder instead of just having to turn all 11 uh, of those cards in at one time so you can think of it that way but if you're investing to make coins that's where the issue comes in do these cards rise up next week if they only require six to nine instead of all 11 league un probably it's going to be just a carbon copy of this week and a lot of people are just investing in these not to do packs but to also make coins so i'd be a little bit scared unless you bought these at like the 1.2 range you'll probably see these get to like 1.8 1.9 k next week but it's going to be a gamble because, again, we're just relying on EA and the requirements for an SBC, which is why I don't like relying on EA, um, That which, you know, that's just something I don't like doing is require, is relying on an SBC requirement or on something that is in their hands, basically, I guess. So that's kind of the situation with the League Un Golds and the Serie A Rare Golds and the upgrade packs that did come out today. Uh, I updated you on the account. We did pack Dybala today, not to flex it again, but we are chasing after Ronaldo. So I've got Dybala, I've got Quadrado, so I can maybe do a little bit of a formation change. If I get Ronaldo, I got Dybala, I got Quadrado. I want Ronaldo. That's what I'm trying to say. If we get that Ronaldo, that would be ridiculous. That would be freaking ridiculous, man. All right, pull all your packs through positions out. And these, these upgrade packs are pretty good, man. So if you've got a little bit of coins, just take a shot at it, right? Just take a shot. Try it out. Uh, I do want to update date you guys on the Weekend League. I finished 20 and 8. I was pushing for Elite. Didn't happen. It's okay. We'll still have Gold 1 rewards. 
uh, this weekend and this Wednesday on stream. Down below, check that link in the description if you want to check me out on live streams. Uh, we'll be opening those there Thursday night. So if you enjoyed this video today, a little market talk, Serie A team of the season, all sorts of stuff, smash a thumbs up video on, on the video. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe to the channel if you're new. It's been Nate, Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace. Out.